Hello, welcome to this uh, lecture video. So today we're going to talk about another topic and it's about writing mathematical expression. I am teacher Melai and let us start with what are the different phrases for the given operation. So for example, in operation addition, we know that the operation is addition because of the following phrases. So we can use a plus b so in expression this is how um, it is written it's a plus b the sum of a and b a increased by b b more than a the total of a and b or b added to a while if the operation is subtraction so some of the phrases that they used or we use is a minus b the difference of A and B, B subtracted from A, A decreased by B, and B less than A. For multiplication, it is A times B or the product of A and B. In expression, sometimes we use a point or a dot. So this is a multiplication or we just write a and b it still means that we are multiplying a and b or we can also include open and close parentheses so a open and close parentheses b or we can also place parentheses for both a and b okay how about for division so in division we can um, use the phrases like A divided by B, the quotient of A and B, the ratio of A and B, or B divided into A. And some of the expressions or mathematical expressions used for this is A, the symbol for division, A divided by B, or A, we can also use bar slash B, or A over B, or A the symbol for division divided by b so we actually have one two three four ways of writing this in mathematical expressions okay let's have an example so let us consider this examples and let us answer this so number one the difference between 10 and Three. So, how will we write the, the difference between 10 and 3? So, to write this, this is equal to 10 minus 3. Okay, number 2. How will we write the quotient of twice the number x and Two. So the quotient of uh, twice the number, twice a number is, or twice the number is, let's say, 2x. And since it is quotient, so it is divided by 2, or it is actually 2x over 2. Okay, next. So let us also answer 4 more than 2. So how can we write 4 more than 2? So in writing this, so it is 2 plus 4. And then next, Two less than a number. So let's say the number is n. So it is n minus two. The product of five and x. So how to write the product of five and x? So we can write this as five x and decrease by seven is n less 7 or n minus 7. y less 5, so it is y minus 5. 
3 minus a is 3 minus a. x divided by 2 is x over 2. Okay, next. 3 multiplied. So let us also consider another... So let's have 3 minus uh, 3 multiplied by x. So 3x. The sum of b and 6, that is b plus 6. 2 times c, 2c. 4 more than the product of x and y. So the product of x and y is xy. And more than is addition, so x, y plus 4. Okay, next. So let us also consider more complicated example. So here, we have Maria saves 500 pesos per week. So she earned... For X week to buy uh, an, an Android phone. So she earned for X week to buy an Android phone. So how much money did Maria save to buy her Android phone? So to answer this question, for example, in week one, So we have one. So she uh, she saves five hundred. Week two, it is five hundred times two. Week three, five hundred times three. Or this can actually be written. So if x is the number of weeks, so we have five hundred. So the answer here is 500x. So next, uh, let us also consider another um, example. Riel has five more gold fishes than Creighton. Creighton has six gold fishes. How many gold fishes or how many gold fish does Riel have? So to answer this, so simply... Um, Riel has five more, more gold fishes. So how many gold fish does Riel have? So if uh, Creighton, for instance, if Creighton, let's uh, use C and R for Riel. So if Creighton has, uh, let's say, two, it means that Riel has two plus five. So that is seven. If Riel has, uh, Creighton has three, so for real, it is 3 plus 5, it is equal to 8. So if the number of goldfish now of Creighton is, let's say, G. So it is G plus 5. So the answer for this problem is G plus, plus 5. Okay, so these are my references. Thank you for watching.